Hey everybody, um, I thought I'd make a video today about my log splitter. Uh, I, old buddy of mine, he's also subscribed to the channel, he watches my videos, and uh, he was asking me about my log splitter, and I was telling him the, you know, the pros and cons of having, you know, at least my pros and cons of having a gas-powered log splitter. And uh, I told him how, while my, while it's splitting wood, it, it simultaneously makes kindling. And uh, I, I explained to him how that works. So let me turn the camera around here, if it'll turn around and cooperate with me. Okay. Uh, I've got most everything st stacked. Uh, I just split this uh, in the last two days. That's a that's a real good truckload, maybe more. Uh, but here here's what happened. You see all this all this right here on the ground. Okay, that's going to make excellent kindling uh not this year but next year uh, what happens is when i'm splitting wood when like the logs here the splitter the wedge goes into it there's almost always a shaving of wood um something like that that collects on the top of this wedge and comes back and after a while it builds up right here you gotta you gotta physically clear it out uh so all that stuff falls on the ground i'm gonna bag all this up and when it dries and i'll explain that in a minute when it dries uh in seasons i'm gonna have good kindling not to mention this um even you know even logs like this see how little that is i'm still gonna split that that's gonna be firewood too um i get these little hunks because when i'm cutting my firewood uh you know, I cut it, whatever size logs are that I find, I cut them 16 inches, 16 inches. If I get to the end of the log and I've got a piece like this, it's like 7 inches, you know, I'm still going to use that. So that's not going to get wasted at all. Um, so even the small stuff like that is going to get used. Um, so it, with, the, with the exception of the sawdust, uh, nothing is going to, going to waste. Uh, I get my wood on logging sites. I've got a friend, a uh, good buddy that drives a truck for a logging company. And um, through him, I was able to get permission to go on these logging sites and get wood. I don't know, maybe they got a piece of wood that's, you know, got a little hollow place in the middle they can't sell. Maybe it's cracked through the middle they can't sell. Um, I don't know what sizes they cut, but maybe they cut a 12 foot piece to put on the truck because that's what the order is. But the piece is 15, so obviously you can't sell a three foot piece of wood. So that's how that happens. Um, so, and when I said green and not seasoned, um, that's from logging sites. Uh, I would never, ever go out and cut down a live tree just to make firewood. Would not happen. Uh, so that's why the wood that I'm get, that I've got now, I've got. Uh, I was estimating earlier, probably right at about six cords of wood stacked up over there in that stack. I've showed it in previous videos. Um, the wood you see in the pile here, I'm stacking up right here beside my chicken coop. Uh, that won't be, it won't be a cord. Uh, a good, real good heaped over truckload maybe. Uh, maybe a truckload and a half. Um, I've got some poplar behind my chicken coop. Uh, I don't think I've ever shown him much about it. But, but yeah, this, this wood I get, I'm going to get it from these logging sites. And like I said, I'm gonna, by the time I get to all that stacked, I rake up the kindling that i showed you it's all going to be used nothing's going to waste here so that's uh that's very important to me that you know just not out cutting down trees for nothing <laughs> or not just you know going out and cutting down trees just to make firewood you know if it's already dead that's one thing but i would never personally go down and cut down a live tree just to let it set for firewood so i wanted to show that the log splitter has uh, multi-purposes it also creates kindling for you. Uh, the good thing about it is, you know, I can save my body now and I'm not wearing myself out out here splitting wood. Bad thing is, you know, if you, you know, if you break an axe or a mile handle, it's a lot cheaper to replace than it is if hydraulics goes down. So, but that's another video for another time. But I just thought I'd show you, show you that. I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.